Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So in a recent tweet, David Sinclair announced he was excited to be working with Longevity Labs Plus on a tiny molecule called spermidine. Let's jump into the presentation. Let's look at spermidine in more detail and why David Sinclair may be getting involved. So what is this molecule that has sparked David Sinclair's interest? Spermidine is a polymine and it carries a positive charge that interacts with negatively charged molecules such as RNA, DNA and indeed some proteins. Polymine levels in all organisms vary, but a common factor is that spermidine levels decline with age. Maybe this is why David Sinclair is so interested. As the name suggests, spermidine was first found and isolated in semen in the 1920s, but it wasn't until the 21st century that Dr. Frank Medeo discovered spermidine's unique ability to trigger autophagy and increase human lifespan. Dietary sources of spermidine include, you can see the list there, and at the bottom is supplements, and I will cover where to buy spermidine supplements in just a moment. One way in which spermidine promotes longevity is by inducing autophagy. The word autophagy has a Greek derivation and literally means self-eating. Autophagy is the body's way of replacing senescent cells with new healthy cells. If our body doesn't get rid of these senescent or zombie cells, they excrete pro-inflammatory cytokines, which are not good for us. Here's Dr. Rhonda Patrick to explain a little more about spermidine, autophagy and senescent cells. Something else called spermidine, which um, is able to clear away damaged cells in your body. And it's called through a process called autophagy. So we're always getting damaged cells. And anytime we have a cell that's damaged, damaged cells occur, um, you know, just just from normal metabolism. But as our telomeres start to get shorter, um, the telomeres always take the hit. So telomeres are those tiny caps on the end of your chromosomes. And they always are like sacrificing themselves because they don't want your DNA to get the damage. Because if your DNA get, gets the damage, it could lead to cancer. So they um, take the hit and as they start to get shorter, it accelerates their shortening because they already get shorter each year. Then what happens is the cell becomes what's called senescent. And what that means is a cell just sits around in your bloodstream or in your kidney or in your liver or whatever organ we're talking about. And it's not really alive, so it's not me metabolic, but it doesn't like go away. It's not dead. So what it does, it just sits there and it starts to secrete um, pro-inflammatory cytokines, which then activate nearby immune cells to like fire away nasty chemicals and damage more cells. So what happens is you start to damage nearby cells. Calorie restriction and fasting have also been shown to stimulate autophagy and may result in more extended longevity. Calorie restriction has been shown to prolong the lifespan of organisms such as roundworms and primates by up to 30 to 50%, provided that malnutrition does not occur. Spermidine is present in all living organisms and is required for cellular homeostasis. Homeostatic imbalance, which causes cellular malfunction, is believed to be an underlying factor responsible for most diseases. Spermidine is involved in multiple cellular processes, such as gene transcription, gene translation, the maintenance of genomic DNA stability, cell proliferation and cell survival. Both homeostasis and cell senescence play a critical role in diseases aging and death. Aging is as a result of both homeostatic imbalance and the accumulation of senescent cells that are not destroyed through autophagy. Research has shown that spermidine may extend the lifespan of organisms such as flies, yeast, worms and mice. Here is Dr. Rhonda Patrick talking about one of the mouse studies. Oh, so anyways, back to the spermidine. The spermidine <laughs> actually clears away. It, it, it activates this whole genetic system we have in our body called autophagy, which is like self-eating. So we start to like eat the cell and like clear it away. And recently, like within the last like month, a study came out where um, scientists actually engineered mice uh, using CRISPR technology to clear away all the every time they had a senescent cell. You and I are getting senescent cells right now like right now. But these, these researchers did this brilliant experiment where they designed, um, they were like, okay, a senescent cell has a certain marker on it. And so they then said, okay, when this marker gets expressed, 
I want you to like have the you know have the these immune cells go and clear it away and eat it. And so every time there was a senescent cell, the immune system cleared it out, and the mice ended up living 30% longer. According to the human study conducted with 829 participants who were aged between 45 and 84, increased intake of spermidine through external sources, such as food and supplements, was linked to higher survival rates. In addition to increasing lifespan by up to 25%, Research that was conducted on mice showed that spermidine supplementation decreases liver fibrosis and the risk of cancer, even in subjects that were exposed to chemicals that were actually designed to cause liver fibrosis. Human observational studies also link the intake of dietary spermidine with a decreased risk of colon cancer. Spermidine has a neuroprotective effect against damage to neurons caused by inflammation and oxidative stress. This can assist in the prevention of age-related neurodegenerative diseases such as Parkinson's. In studies with rats, mice and humans, spermidine from food sources has been shown to enhance cardioprotective effects such as reducing hypertension and arterial aging through autophagy. Increased spermidine intake is also associated with a reduction in blood pressure and a lower risk of cardiovascular disease, which led to lower mortality in humans. There have also been human in vitro studies that showed spermidine's ability to stimulate hair growth. The researchers hypothesized that rapidly regenerating tissue needs sufficient polymine synthesis. And as the hair follicle is a fast growing mini organ, Polymines may also be important for normal hair growth. The study showed that administration of spermidine for six days slightly but significantly increased hair shaft growth. The maximal growth led to more than a 20% increase in hair shaft production after six days in culture. Spermidine as a supplement can be bought in powder or tablet form. If you are looking to buy spermidine supplements, be warned, they are hard to find at the moment. What you might find is wheat germ spermidine capsules, but these are generally underdosed and most don't list how much spermidine they actually contain. Although there is plenty of spermidine research on animals, human studies are a little harder to find. The optimal spermidine dosage has not yet been established, although some experiments in older adults show that 1.2 milligrams of spermidine a day is considered safe. So I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both, with the results from animal studies and that one human study and David Sinclair's recent interest. I think we're going to be hearing a lot more about spermidine in the near future. As I said, you can buy spermidine supplements, um, but they are expensive. To buy from Longevity Labs Plus is going to cost you around $100 a month, and it's not always available. It is quite often on back order. So let me know if you currently take spermidine or if you're going to consider taking it if more information becomes available. Well that's it for today. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. As always please take care, stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.